In Rogue Lords, you play as the Devil and control nine of his disciples, legendary evil geniuses who have signed a pact with him and carry out his orders. At the start of each run, you control a team of three disciples. Each one plays differently, but none of them are restricted to one role. All the disciples have skills to attack and defend, and every combination of disciples has its strengths and tactics. Your choice depends on your preferences and style of play, and success will mainly depend on your ability to build an arsenal of balanced skills. Each disciple has their own unique gameplay. Mirror, mirror, who shall die tonight? Bloody Mary is an attack-heavy character. Her unique skill is to use her mirror to duplicate her attacks, which allows her to deal heavy damage to an enemy or to attack several at a time. Her basic attacks are based on physical damage, but she can also be highly effective at dealing spiritual damage. I always aim for the head. A fearless soldier on a quest for revenge, the Headless Horseman protects his allies by provoking his enemies while temporarily increasing his defenses to withstand attacks. He is very effective at damage control, but he's more than just defense. His bitterness gauge increases each time he is attacked, which he can use to increase the effects of his skills and trigger a devastating attack. Mm, catch me if you can. A seductive succubus who fiercely protects her allies, Lilith is a versatile fighter who heals and protects them while tearing into her enemies. The more her allies deal damage, the more she accumulates damage bonuses, which she can use to perform massive hits at key moments. The action she uses to recharge her skills can only be triggered at the start of a turn and provokes all enemies. But unlike the other disciples, it does not cost any action points. Lilith is therefore a formidable attacking ally. Death is so sweet. Among the ghosts and banshees that serve the devil, the White Lady is the most respected. Her unique ability is to wear one of three masks, which has an automatic effect on every turn. Deal spiritual damage, heal a disciple, or change the cost of skill action points for her allies. Her powers are highly useful for both combat control and dealing spiritual damage. Mama Bridget's always telling me I overdo it. And she's right! Instructed by the devil to watch over the dead, Baron Somdi is a voodoo sorcerer and master of curses. Vicious and patient, he can trigger and apply the status Depression, which slowly eats away at his enemy's spiritual points. He's a specialist in control effects and debuffs, and can also increase the action points of his allies, which makes him a great support character. I must rid the world of simpletons. The doctor says you must all die! Dr. Frankenstein and his creature with a rotting brain come as a package and can't be played separately. The creature deals heavy physical damage, and her damage can increase when she loses health points. With some skills, she can even injure herself to benefit from these damage bonuses. As for the doctor, he specializes in support skills and spiritual damage. Their true strength lies in their teamwork. Some of the doctor's skills recharge the creature's skills or make her attack, and clever use of their synergies makes them unstoppable. May the moon bear witness. Hecate is a powerful moon sorceress who once narrowly escaped being burned at the stake. She is very versatile as she can deal heavy damage, reduce damage from enemies' attacks, and heal her allies. The phase of the moon changes each time she uses or recharges her skills, and some of these skills can only be used during certain phases. The right timing can result in devastating combos. Look me in the eye. And finally, a leader both feared and revered, Dracula is a great choice for any team. He can recharge the skills of the whole team all at once, which saves on action points. He can also make all his allies deal more damage. Based on the skills he acquires during a run, he can be equally powerful for physical damage and spiritual damage. But his true power reveals itself when he's vulnerable. Some of his skills can be activated twice. All these disciples are unlocked as you progress in Rogue Lords. We can't wait for you to discover them all. In the meantime, we still have lots more to show you. Follow us on social media and stay tuned.